minutes after an Austin cyclist was seriously hurt in a hit-and-run crash, he is home now and recovering. He shared his story for the first time with our Shannon Wilson. Shannon? Leslie John Simpson was hit by a car in the early morning hours of October 24th while he was riding his bike to work as the chef at the Austin Children's Shelter. The driver who hit Simpson has never come forward. These days, John Simpson is taking yeah. things one yeah. small yeah. step at a time. Yeah, the last thing I need is to have you down to the ground again. Yeah. You're not easy to pick up anymore. No. <laughs> the laughter yeah. gets them through so. even the smallest yeah. milestones, so. like a lap around the kitchen. That's it, usually out the door. To watch him today, the chef, yeah. just standing yeah. in his kitchen, is no small miracle. Yeah. He showed me pictures of me down and out. I couldn't believe it. He doesn't remember this time, nor the accident that put him here. But this was John Simpson just two short months ago in a coma, and doctors weren't sure he would make it. There was serious damage to a part of his brain that affects his short-term memory, even his ability to speak and walk. I was in the hospital, and there was people that was way worse than me, and I was like grateful, you know, because I got a bit of hope. The hope began eight days after the accident. John was moved to a rehab hospital, and two months later, because of his amazing progress, he was released. My dream is to um, walk again and run again and bicycle again and just, you know, be active again. And he's working hard at it, rehab every day. He ditched his wheelchair for a walking cane but he doesn't plan on keeping it around. I look at people walking down the street and I just like stare at them because I miss that so much. Yeah. He's definitely a fighter, that's for sure. And one small step at a time. I just want my freedom back. He's taking it. Now John's case is still open, but Austin police have said from the beginning it is going to be a difficult one to solve with no vehicle description. John's wife, Cynthia, has created a website for people to track his progress and also to help the family with mounting medical bills. You'll find that link with this story right now at KXAN.com. Live in the studio, Shannon Wolfson, KXAN, Austin News. Thanks, Shannon. We wish John and his wife well as they begin this new year.